good afternoon. Um, we are back in Orlando for the day. We toured some apartments this morning. I think we found the one, but we'll have to discuss it as a family. Um, but this big bowl of spinach. now we are at uh, <laughs> you and me revolving hot pot for some lunch. I don't know what is happening. Um, a robot took us to our table. Um, they asked us what kind of broth we want. I don't, are they just kept handing me broth? I don't know what's going on, but we will keep you guys updated <laughs> and let you know what this experience is like because I know it's a big thing on TikTok and we wanted to try it out. So, thought today is the day. So, basically, when they ask you for your broth, that's like what you make your hot pot in, I guess. And they bring it and they have like burners on the table. And then, like, going around, they have this like revolving, um, like buffet thing almost where you choose like what you want in your hot pot. Like right now it's coming around pea sprouts. So if you want pea sprouts, you just grab them and take them to your table. Uh, I think I might grab the next item, which is lo mein noodles. And then you grab your protein. I got some beef and some chicken over there. And I grabbed some broccoli, ramen, uh, and Jen got some spinach. And we're just gonna, I think, make some uh, hot pot, I guess. I don't know. So if you're gonna come here uh, for the first time, I would do some research on like what makes a good hot pot because um, we panicked and grabbed everything. This is the state of our table. Uh, <laughs> we're panicking. We keep grabbing things that we're not sure what they are. But I will recommend you try the dumplings. They're really good. And the ramen noodles are the best noodles in my opinion. I like the egg noodles. Jin says the egg noodles, but I say the ramen. I didn't think this place would be this filling, but I am so full right now. You would think just like some ramen wouldn't fill you up, but I'm full. Are you full? Yeah. Does that mean we're not going to Gideon's at Disney Springs? We're gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna try our darnest. But um, yeah, definitely do your research before you come here. Figure out what makes, I mean, if you know how to cook, you probably don't need to do research, but um, we don't know how to cook, so we <laughs> needed to do research, but um, but you it's, know what? For not knowing anything? Yeah, we did pretty good for not knowing anything. So, we will show you what it costs to eat here in just a second. And if you're wondering what something like this costs, for three adult all-you-can-eats and uh, three drinks, it is uh, about $90. But I'd say it's worth every penny if you're hungry enough. Disney store and Uniqlo. We already went the Uniqlo. Thumbs down. We don't have any good Disney shirts right now. Um, we don't really have any good shirts at all. Um, and we want to hit up the Lego store and a couple other places. But really, we just wanted to come to something theme parky or Disney or Universally. So here we are. You know it's a busy day here at the Springs. One World of Disney has a 20 minute wait. Um, each time I've come here, I've never had to wait to get in but I'm sure it's been a lot longer than 20 minutes, but I'm also sure it's been a lot shorter than 20 minutes. So pretty busy day here. So I think that was less than 20 minutes, maybe 10? Yeah, it wasn't bad. 10 we really minutes. never stopped walking. Yeah, the line kept moving, never stopped walking. It's just a little hot in the sun, but now we're headed in to World of Disney. Ooh, yeah, so I wanted to, I saw that Disney's making some choices to go plasticless in their packaging. Oh, it's closed. Yeah, so we can't open it. But like, it's not wrapped in plastic. It's all cardboard. You just peel that sticker. Everything inside is cardboard. Oh, and these dolls are twenty four ninety nine. If you were wondering. Yes, they have you know all the major ones: Ariel, Rapunzel, Cinderella, Tiana, another Ariel, Jasmine, Tinkerbell, not a princess, but we'll count her, and Merida. For $24.99. And I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know how long Disney's had these things. Oh, but, but look at this little sleepy pig. It's look. cool, Jen. Well, 
Look at look at Sleepy Spin. He's just snoozing. I need twenty. And these are thirty four ninety nine. Not priceless. I have an obsession with Disney button ups. Look at this Pixar one. It's got all the major players, all of them. It's so soft. Jen can confirm. Yes. So soft. Very soft. I bet it's really cool, mm -hmm. actually. And it's sixty dollars, but I'll buy it. Mm. Not right now, but I'll buy it. <laughs> Also, you know, there's a Gardens of the Galaxy ride opening up at Epcot, and I think they've really upped their merch for it. I don't know if it's because of the ride or because they're making another movie, but this definitely wasn't all here last time I was here. Okay, so I'm sure you don't know this yet, but Matt and I are obsessed with our animals, and Disney has an entire pet line out right now, and I love it. We need it all. This is a little rain jacket for your dog. $34.99. They have a little monorail chew toy. Look at this 101 Dalmatian Spirit jersey oh my for goodness. your dog. This is $36.99. Wow. Little cat boat, cat bowls for 20 bucks. I love a little rain jacket. 60 bucks, but it looks so cute. Ugh, oh, love it. Four pairs of crew socks. All got dogs on them for $24.99. Which isn't bad because Disney socks are usually 11 a piece. So that's a deal. <laughs> Look at this little monorail shirt. I need it. Look, a Sebastian one. Isn't the one you sent me on Instagram? Yeah, I sent you these on Instagram. I thought they weren't in the US. Mm -hmm. And then 101 Dalmatians one. Oh. Cute. I need them all. <laughs> and they're all $59.99. Correction to what Matt said about socks being $11 normally. It's $11 a piece when you buy more than one. If you buy one pair of Disney socks, they're $15. Okay, and these are new ears. I have a, I have a thing for ears. Um, I don't know how I feel about this bow, but I love the color. And it looks like these are the new Little Mermaid ears. The other version of these ended up in the character outlet and I bought them for $3. Um, so it looks like this is what replaced those. And these are, what are these? $29.99. And these are $29.99. These give me like bell vibes. Yeah, like a, like a Moana maybe? Yeah, Moana, like a bell. The yeah. yellow gives me bell vibes. Mm. But yeah, I think these are new too. They're adorable. Yeah. It is now time for the Lego store, which has another wait. Um, this one looks a little, a little bit longer than the Disney store. It's not moving like the Disney store line was, so we might be here a while. Legos. If I were to do Legos, I would do this one. I've never been in here before. That's kind of cute. Look at that grand piano. Wow. $349. <laughs> But look at this roller coaster, three seventy nine. He was all fan of Ooh, that's cute. Oh, that is cute. I bet we could do that. Um, I don't know. We could try it one time. Yeah. Because it's not like bricks; it's like little circles. And this one's 119. Wow. That'd be nice to like hang on the wall. Yeah. I say we get it sometime. Look at little Bruni. Look at Bruni. He's only $12. Ah, uh, because he's only like. He's 96 wow. pieces. And he moves. Bruni. But look what. Obviously, this is the big thing. Oh, I gotta back up pretty far to get all of it, and I still can't fit it all. There we go. But if you want to make the castle, just a three forty nine. Okay, we came into Ghirardelli for dessert. Everywhere else is booked. <laughs> Not taking walk-ins. I've never had it before. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so we went got Ghirardelli. I got a magical Sunday. Huge, delish. And then they got a strawberry and chocolate shake each. And apparently that's where we stopped filming for the day. Um, 
the Ghirardelli shake was not good. Um, I didn't like my strawberry shake, and Jess did not like her chocolate shake. Did you like your magical sundae? I did. Okay, the magical sundae was good. Get the sundaes, and don't get the shakes. Um, but, so, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Uh, I'm filming this on May 2nd, and tomorrow, May 3rd, is the uh, annual pass holder preview at Universal for Velocicoaster, and we have two spots. So, look forward to the Velocicoaster video. It should be up either tomorrow night or Tuesday morning.